Mom fulfills dying wish. Major milestone for LGBT community in Utah. Flying across Dubai, skyline now possible. Good morning, plant. Today is Thursday, November 19th. I'm Felipe Fernandez. And I'm Abby Gonzalez. Let's get started with today's biggest stories. In Lakeland, Dot Crosby was able to fulfill her dying wish of seeing her son get married. Dot is at the end of her battle with breast cancer and was surprised by her son, Tyler, and future wife, Amanda, when they moved their wedding date a year closer so that his mom could take part. Aww. Dot said the wedding was one of her favorite memories, especially when she was able to share a mother-son dance with Tyler. Here's a clip from their very sweet dance. Dot also stated that her next goal is to watch her favorite team, the Tampa Bay Lightning, play. Hopefully you can see the, the Lightning reel in a W. Yeah. Um, in national news, Salt Lake City became a hot topic after former state lawmaker Jackie Biskupski won the mayoral election, making her the first openly gay mayor. Cool. Biskupski de defeated the two-term Ralph Becker. Her victory marked another big step forward for the LGBT community in Utah who has made major strides in recent years. You go, girl. She was also the first openly gay lawmaker and recalled that colleagues would sometimes refuse to shake her hand. Biskevsky hopes to work on the same sex disputes and issues within the community. Globally, Dubai added another jaw-dropping attraction to the Persian Gulf City. The 1,800 feet zip line that ends at the top of the Dubai Mall rooftop is now open to the public. Oh my gosh, the 40 second trip reaches speeds of almost 50 miles per hour and flies over the world's largest choreographed fountain. Um, it also overlooks the world's tallest building. Wow. The thrilling ride, however, is limited in participation. 30 people are picked per week to participate through a social media competition. More than 4,000 people are expected to take part. Now it's time for the most exciting part of the morning show. School announcements. School announcements. Poetry Jam will be on December 9th at 8.30 in the Media Center. If you are interested in participating or just joining the audience, please see Mr. Penn in the Media Center or your English teacher for more information. Come out and support. And your applications for Plants Top Chef are due tomorrow. Make sure you get those in. Um, and check out this promo vid. The first annual PHS Top Chef competition is here. All students interested in this great event need to fill out an application due Friday. Candidates will bring in a sample food and present it to a teacher. Candidates will then be narrowed down to the top 24 by teacher judgment. The top 24 will then cook a staff meal for administrators. The top 12 will attend a culinary arts class hosted at Sir La Table with Master Chef Eorg Hoen. A banquet will then be held at the Plant High Media Center on December 9th. The top 12 chefs will present a great meal. Oh, it's making me hungry. Yeah, if we win, do we get to eat our masterpiece? We should totally sign up for that, Abby. Today is the Great American Teach-In. Hopefully you will be able to get some insight on potential career paths or maybe just some um, awesome presentations. Congrats to the girls and boys basketball teams on their victory last night at Gaither. Woo! Plan has been coming together for athletic support, but let's see if they agree on their favorite emojis. Here's Kelsey John with more insight. Like that, and then the the little the 
pink hearts, the two hearts, and the little like spark thing. <laughs> My name is Denton Dobbins, and my top three emojis are the sunglass, the turd, and the disappointed little tear sweat drop on the top of your head because I like to express disappointment in a lot of people. <laughs> my favorite emojis are the laughing face, the fire, and the water. <laughs> My favorite emoji would definitely be the flame because everything I say is so lit. Mine would be the four emojis that make gang. Gang. Also, don't forget, boys and girls soccer go up against Strawberry Crest tonight um, at Plant. Tickets for the football game at Lakeland will be pre-sold today and tomorrow during all three lunches. Tickets are $8. Let's get the gold rush up there, cheering us away from home. Starting today, 125 free Gold Rush t-shirts will be given away to students that grab a teacher and tell an administrator how thankful they are for them. Only a few will be given away each passing period. Good luck! Huge shout out to Morgan Tankersley, as she was named the Tribune Athlete of the Week. Wow! Beta inductions will be taking place in the auditorium. Congrats to everyone who will be inducted. Lastly, today is Throwback Thursday. This week's timeless treasure comes from Ella Fernandez. Aw, she's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> um, if any of you people have some funny throwbacks that you want featured on the morning show, you should submit them to the TV Productions Twitter, at PHSTVProd. Well, that's all we have for you today, Plant. Have a great one, and remember, one more day till Friday.